Welcome to the start of yet another run through Pokemon Silver, and this time I'll be doing a Mono Psychic run. Hollow it's going to take me a while to get to the Psychic Pokemon in this game, considering they're not available to actually get past the first Gym Leader. So yes, we're going to have to defeat Faulkner without the aid of any Psychic Pokemon. But that's alright, I mean, it's just the first Gym at least. And honestly, I don't think most of the Gyms are going to be hard once we pick up Kadabra anyway. Once you got Kadabra, this game is going to be easy mode. It's going to be getting past a few of the Pokemon trainers with them unknown. They're going to be the hard part. Let's face it, hidden power sucks. Good thing we'll be dropping unknown like a bag of garbage as soon as possible, though. Yes, I suppose we don't, and I'm not really interested in solving those mysteries. Honestly, the lore of Pokemon is not that big of an interest of mine. I mean, I'll read it if I come across it sometimes, but I don't go seeking it out usually. I'm sure there's some interesting stuff there. Okay, yeah, it's alphabetical order, duh. And considering the naming convention for Abracadabra Alakazam, we're gonna be Shazam! You know, famous magic words. That's what we're going with. Plus, it's fun to say every now and again. I would say it helps us focus our inner chi, but I think that's reserved for Zam. Hmm. It's been all since I played this guy, too. Gotta love the ninja character, though. Ninjas have to say Zam a lot, you know? Helps focus the chi. So you can pull off your ninja techniques. Yes, yes, I'll take my Poke Gear. Gotta get moving. Gotta get on the run. Gotta talk to Professor Elm and find out about the Pokemon egg. Yeah, I just botched the day of the week, but I don't care. It's not like I have to catch anything on a specific day in this run. Now, if I was doing a water run, I'd probably care a bit more about that. Because I'd want to be able to pick up Lapras, and it'd be nice to know the right day of the week to go to the cave, you know? Then again, if I did that, I'd probably have to record it, too. It'd end up being a bonus episode. <sighs> Which would be just more work. It's real, huh? What's real? He actually made a discovery for a change? Unlike the 50 other times he called you? He sounds like he calls a lot and doesn't really get that much done. But we're gonna be taking... Chikorita, because I'm a glutton for punishment. Plus, there's nothing stopping me from picking up a much better Pokemon to take on Faulkner anyway. After all, it's gonna be just temporary. Yep, we're gonna call you Temp. Because you're just gonna be a temporary party member that's reserved for cutting. Could have taken Cynical for the same purpose, but this allows me to save on editing work. Yes, I'm being that lazy. This way my rival takes the exact same Pokemon. Oh, I'll take your number, alright, because I know you're gonna call us. Because our rival's gonna break in while we're gone. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take a potion. I'm not sure I'll need it, but I'll take it. Well, let's get underway then. Time to make our way to Mr. Pokemon's house. In order to get ourselves an egg. Too bad we can't scramble it. Then again, I don't eat eggs. So I don't know why I've made that joke at all. I just crack a lot at work. Honestly, I don't know how many eggs I've cracked over the years at this point. Probably a couple thousand. Maybe more. Go through a lot of eggs every day. Of course, most of them I don't have to break the yolk. I don't have to break any shells for anyway, so whatever. Mm, I probably should have fought that. Every little bit of experience helps, you know. Oh yeah, let's not forget the berry. That might come in handy too. In case I pick up something I want to train with, you know? Plus, we got Centrate here, and Centrate's not that big of a deal to fight, to be honest. My poor Dragon Slayer. You are not. Well, that was easy. Okay, the berry power is mine. Let's move on. I wonder what kind of berry it is, though. 
There are a lot of different berries out there. Blackberries, strawberries, um, blueberries. Okay, I'm running out of berries. I don't know that many by name, you know? I'm sure others could make a much longer list if they want to. Ah, Kakuna. Hmm, should I leave it alone or should I fight it? On one hand, it's easy experience, so it's an easy way to get up to level 6. On the other hand, this can be really tedious, as it slowly raises its defenses until our attacks are doing practically nothing. Well, that was sweet. Thanks, Temp. And we're through. Oh, yeah. Level 6. Now to try and get through here. Darn it, got jumped again. Now what? Oh, a Pidgey? Level 2 Pidgey, no less. Man, this thing's bold. You think a level 2 Pidgey would just run away? Scared. Well, whatever. Shoot, I missed! And I used up all my berries! It's terrible! <sighs> oh, I won't worry about putting on the other one just yet. Yep. The sweet taste of this berry is mine. Or I suppose it's my Pokemons, technically. I'm not even sure if it's safe for humans to eat berries in this world. Eh, probably. Well, I'm surprised they have medicinal purposes. Then again, that's probably true in the real world, world too, with certain um, berries, maybe. I know you can use bark from certain trees as a curative item. Hmm. I really shouldn't worry about that too much. Maybe it's something to look up later, though. If I can find time for it. I got a lot of stuff to record still. <sighs> I still got about half of the stuff I've been meaning to do for the last two or three days to do still. <sighs> I haven't got the episodes up for Final Fantasy X or the other game I want to start on Sunday. What was it now? Darn it. It's escaping me. I got it written down somewhere. So. It's not like I have to worry about forgetting it. Because I got it written down just in case I forgot. <laughs> Pretty sure it's on a piece of paper right in front of me, too. Hmm. So that was another PS2 game. Um, let me check my records here. Oh yeah, Inuyasha. And the Cursed Mask. <sighs> yep. One of the Yasha game wasn't enough. We have to do another one. And there's an RPG Maker game I could be working on, too. I got some open slots, considering how many of the games I did last week were one-parters, because they're really short. <sighs> I suppose my friends are comrades in arms, you know? Because we're battle buddies. They, of course, they do all the fighting. I don't do anything in this game. Despite the fact we know white magic exists in the first game. Come on, I want to be a Pokemon catcher that uses black magic, so I can throw around fireballs and catch the Pokemon myself, without the aid of another Pokemon. Now that'd be fun, but that's just not the way this world works. Hmm. Might be an interesting idea for a fan game, though, one of these days. But I don't think it'll happen. Eh, whatever. Time to get back on the road. Ah, uh, yes, the break-in. That sucks. Let's see. Let's go this way. And let's stay out of the grass if we can. Makes my life easier when I don't travel through grass and I don't have to fight strange Pokemon. Oh yeah, let's put on one of the berries. Let's see. I might pick up a Geodude for this run just for Faulkner, though. Or I'll catch a Bellsprout and trade it for the Onyx, just because. I mean, it would be at least something different than what I'm going to be doing in the Rock run, I hope. Hmm. 
I suppose you do. It's better than mine. But I'll get the edge over it eventually. I always do. So as I could have technically taken Toad Isle, so I'd have a advantage over his um chicker his chick rear with fire punch later. Hey, I made my job a little bit harder. Not much though. Yeah, you're gonna have to do a bit more leering than that if you wanna really lower my um stats. Once isn't enough, man. Well, let's do this. Time for the knockout blow. Oh yeah. And we're through. Yeah, we learned Razor Leaf. Now we have an actual attack. Eh, sort of. Not really. I can be hardly satisfied with one victory. That's all this is. One victory out of many battles to come. Eh. Well, time to get back on the road. Bum -ba -bum. And we're walking, we're walking. Dun -da -dun -da -dun. Dun -da -dun -da -dun. Yeah, I know. Walking's so boring. I wish we had our bike. We make this go by so much faster. But we can't get it till we get the golden rod. Gosh darn it. Makes me almost want to cry, but I don't have time for that right now. I gotta name my rival. Yeah, I bought someone just like that. Let's see. Well, considering our name is a magic word, obviously skepticism and reason are the enemies in this run, so he gets to be called the Skeptic. Yeah, I'm sure it will really help, because that doesn't sound like an actual name at all. <laughs> yes, yes it is terrible. This is not the item you're looking for. Because you're going to give it to back to me anyway, so I might as well just get to keep it, right? Oh, I guess I can't have it. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, the one Violet City. We're gonna want to pick up a rock type. I would get Marie, but we don't have access to it yet, even if I could find it in this version. Eh. I'm pretty sure it's just not available in Crystal, but... I want to be 100% um, sure about that, you know? I sometimes forget which versions have which Pokemon. I have to look it up sometimes. That's why I have to plan carefully for some of my runs. If I want to get a certain Pokemon on my team. Yes, I'm leaving on an adventure, alright. Uh, sorry, I, let, let me correct that real quick. Shoot, I gotta leave the house, then come back to get her to take my money. Okay. Yes. Save. Oh, come on. Why is this such a pain? Yep, I want you to start saving it. And I'll definitely stick with it to the end, because I'm kind of determined to make through this run. It shouldn't be that hard anyway. But let's get this guy out of the way. So it doesn't really matter what I pick up, to be honest, considering we don't have any Psychics available yet. I'll probably pick up something or other, maybe. Or I'll just run around with Chikorita for now. We'll see when we get there. Until next time, then. See ya.